It's my pleasure to welcome you to the Christine Siegler Pearson Building. I'm Catherine Gillis, the Dean of the Duke University School of Nursing, and I'm so very, very pleased to have so many friends, faculty, staff, students, alumni here tonight to help us celebrate this great occasion. This really is a momentous day for us as we dedicate our new wing, a space that reflects our commitment to and reverence for our mission of educating future professionals for nursing research and nursing care. We have many special friends here today, and I, at the risk of calling any out, uh, I'm going to just acknowledge collectively that we have members here today from the Board of Trustees, from the Health System Board of Directors, from the Duke Medicine Board of Visitors, from the School of Nursing's Board of Advisors, and the School of Nursing's Alumni Council. Um, Christine Siegler Pearson and her son Andrew are both here. We're so happy to have you with us. At this time, it's my pleasure to welcome the president of Duke University and my longtime friend, Dick Broadhead. When I first made the acquaintance of this school, so that was in January of 2004, it had lots to recommend it, very intelligent people, totally dedicated to their mission, a very clear sense of the importance that nursing would have in the future uh, world. Uh, but at the same time, there were certain things holding people back, as you remember, for instance, the lack of a proper building to exist in. Uh, so I thought, well, gee, uh, maybe over time this problem uh, can be ameliorated. And I remember nursing didn't have a building at that point. It didn't have a plan for a building, and it didn't have a promise for a building, and it did not have the funding for a building. But I remember in about July of that year when someone came into my office and explained how it was that we could promise the building of a proper building for the School of Nursing. And lo and behold, about four months later, I saw a plan for it, and then I came to the groundbreaking for it, and then I came to the dedication for it. Doesn't it seem like yesterday that the unimaginable, the absolute limit of human possibility had been reached? As Catherine said, that I believe that it's people much more than buildings that define the school stature. So I do believe that with such a building, we have a magnificent, prominently located nursing campus, and that does make a statement important at Duke, but also nationally and globally about how nurses are so important in health and medicine. They've grown in scope, they've grown in importance, and I think they've grown in every way that you can imagine in helping us solving the problem of the healthcare challenges. I am honored to be able to speak on behalf of the 120 staff members currently working at the School of Nursing. I work in the Office of Admissions. And I believe that we are the most fortunate of all of the team members here. On a daily basis, we have the privilege of walking prospective students through these very halls. We get to showcase all of the opportunities that will be offered to them as students while they are here. And we get to show them the beauty and the amazing state-of-the-art labs and classrooms that are in this facility. We are the ones who get to tell them about the outstanding staff and faculty along with the impressive history of this School of Nursing. And we are the ones who are fortunate enough to hear them audibly say, wow, when they walk into this space. When they try to take in the grandeur of this new facility. And I will tell you, they always say, wow. We are excited about the expansion of our excellent facilities. The new wing will allow us to continue to explore new ways of teaching from simulation centers with debriefing rooms to innovative classrooms designed for interactive learning. This building facilitates the ability of our excellent faculty and staff to accomplish our mission to create a center of excellence for the advancement of nursing science, the promotion of clinical scholarship, and the education of clinical leaders, advanced practitioners, and researchers. The community here at Doosan is proud to have worked with Dean Gillis. She has a steadfast commitment to excellence in nursing education, research, and care. Ours is the practice and the science that assists people to manage their health or illness and to act on their behalf when they cannot. In doing so, ours is a profession that ably re represents Duke's commitment to knowledge in the service of society. And to that I say, 
Go Doosan, go Duke. <laughs>